Here's how you can make Miss Vicky's chips with Miss Vicky's. Your Miss Vicky's? A Miss Vicky? The one who made the chip? Yes. You mean this Miss Vicky's? Yes. So we're using a russet potato because you can find them easily at the grocery store. We leave the skins on because a lot of the potatoes nutrition is just under the skin. So we're going to use peanut oil today. That's the oil that I used on the farm, but we're not going to wash the slices first. It helps to preserve the taste of the potato. So what's the difference between kettle cooked and what you're doing at home? In the factory, we put our slices into the hot oil. The temperature of the oil drops down. When it comes back up, then we know that's the cooking curve that will make the chips crunchy. So are we able to do that here or no? We'll try, but probably they'll be flat. Ah, uh, so that's why we can never get that exact crunch, I guess you can say, that the factories get. They need to get the salt on them while the oil is still hot on the outside. You eat it. You eat it too. You eat it. You gotta join me. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Hmm. I don't know what it is about it, but I tried making this before. It did not taste this good. I got the same potatoes you got. It's because I'm here. It's the magic touch. Yeah. That crunch. If you ever get a potato chip and it's brown like this, it's the sugar in the potato. There's nothing wrong with it at all. And you can eat these with no salt. When Miss Vicky's started the business in 87, 30% of our sales were no salt because I personally was on a salt restricted diet. Potato chips are not healthy, but at least if we use the raw ingredients that are, we can rest assured that we don't want to eat them every day, but Every once in a while, there'll be a treat.